Hi, before starting, just a quick word to say that this is a teaser from one big module that we have in the academy all about sketching hair. This is the last video of this module where we put everything together. So if you want to learn what I'm talking about in the beginning of this video, you can join the academy and see the whole module. I'll talk about it at the end of this video, but for now, let's learn what's in this video. Hi, I'm sure that you're super excited by now. You've been practicing a few haircuts and now you're like, hey, I want to start doing this for my imagination. Well, in this video, I want to give you a step-by-step -step on how to do so. Now that you know the three pillars of a good haircut, which are structure and shapes, movement, flow, and gesture, and overlapping lines and shape, you have all the tools necessary to create awesome haircuts for imagination. So in this video, I'll give you just a simple step-by-step -step so you have a concrete example on how to do so. And your homework for this video will be to create an awesome haircut from imagination. Let's get started. Alright, and step one will be to get inspired. First thing first, you'll need to collect a few images to get inspired from. Yes, you need references to paint from imagination, because painting from imagination doesn't mean without references. That is a misconception. You cannot paint the things you never saw before. That would be pure magic. There is a saying that says in art that you are only as good as your references. Studying references is the best way to grow your memory, to be able to recall the images that you studied before, and this way you'll be able, eventually, to paint 100% from memory. My pro tip here to find your references is to focus on one hairstyle, on one subject at a time. For this example, I want to paint something simple. I want to paint a wavy, curly hair that floats in the wind. So I gather a few images of hair that floats in the wind, but I also gather a few artwork from artists that I admire. Studying the artists that you really like, the artwork that they've done, is a great way to learn faster. By seeing how they interpreted the subject that you're trying to paint, you will learn from their technique and learn much faster this way. Now be careful. It's really easy to lose yourself in Pinterest. As a rule of thumb, anything between 10 and 50 images is plenty. Also, you can try to find videos. You can learn a lot by looking at motion pictures. And to learn hair, there's nothing better than shampoo advertising. Step two will be to warm up and do a few studies. It's very important to not start designing your hairstyle from the get-go and to take the time to create a few studies before. Why are you asking? Because looking at your references images with your eyes isn't enough to learn from them. If you really want to one day be able to paint from memory, you'll need to have drawn a few hundreds, if not a few thousand, of quick studies. The more you'll do studies, the less you'll need references and the faster you'll become at painting anything. Here, you want to focus on the three pillars of a good haircut. Structure and shapes, gesture, flow and movement, and overlapping lines and shapes. I usually keep things very loose. These are not meant to be pretty drawings, although they can be sometimes. But don't lose your time painting details like hatching in here. Try to warm up your wrist, find interesting shapes and flow. Don't be rigid. Stay loose, let go of your expectation, and welcome the happy accident. When you'll have done a few of those, it's time to get cracking on your masterpiece. For this part, try to first have a quick sketch of a portrait with no hair ready to go. This way you'll be able to design some hair on it. And if you have difficulties with drawing portrait and anatomy, no worries. You'll be able to download these two sketches below this video to get you started. This way you'll be able to focus on learning hair exclusively without having to get frustrated about learning portraiture and anatomy at the same time. And I'll cover portraiture in other videos. So one of the most common mistakes here that beginners will do is to start adding lots of details from the get-go. It's a bad idea because you're gonna lose yourself. It's a better idea to start with the big shapes, establishing the proportion of the whole haircut, for example. Then you'll know exactly the kind of size that you have and you'll be able to design the different details and locks that goes in this haircut one piece at a time. Now, if I were to actually paint this haircut as is, I wouldn't have to go further than this. This sketch right here is actually all I need to start a painting. 
but I'm going to continue here to add a little bit more details, some hatching uh, to make it just look better. Because at the end of the day, what I'm trying to do here is a sketch, uh, a good looking sketch. Uh, but if I were to paint it, I just wanted to let you know that this is plenty. You don't have to do more than this. Now, the biggest advice I can give you for the hatching technique that I'm doing right now is to follow the direction of the hair. What you want to do is place a few lines side by side. That's basically the hatching technique. And this will create two things. It will create a volume and it will create the illusion of detail. But you have to remind that we're not trying to paint each individual strings of hair by doing some hatching. What we are trying to do is to create some different values to create basically the illusion of light on this haircut. Now, what I like to do usually is to start with a value that's a little bit more pale, so I don't go black and I don't go too dark, basically. I, and then afterwards, what I do is I like to add an outline that's a little bit more dark. Actually, one of my my references or my, my inspiration to do that kind of technique is Alphonse Muha. Alphonse Muha was an amazing painter and the way he was doing his painting and his sketching was to always have thin and thick lines at certain places to accentuate either the silhouette or certain details. And doing so will create really harmonious, nice looking sketches. And that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you want to try it yourself, you can download this sheet below this video. Give it a try. You'll have my two sketches. Otherwise, you can use your own sketches if you want to as well. And I want to remind yourself here that practice makes perfect. If you have difficulties on your first go, don't stress about it. Try to let go of your expectation and just have fun with this exercise. I'm looking forward to see your results in the community. Have a good one and happy painting. And that's it for this video. I really hope you liked it. If you wish to learn more about hair, I actually spent a lot of time creating an awesome masterclass and I put it inside the Digital Pin Academy. In this masterclass, the Advanced Hair Masterclass, I basically teach a lot of my tricks on how to do macro detail hair, how to do backlit hair. I go into really more details on how to do roots, for example, and how to attach the hair to your, uh, to your head, basically. And so if you're interested in all that, you simply have to visit the Academy. I'll put a link in the description of this video and as usual if you don't want to miss anything make sure to subscribe uh, and i'll see you in the next tutorial happy painting